Y'all ain't doing nothing. Get in here, get in here, get in here. She said, let me read you this, okay? Good morning, good evening, whatever it is, wherever you are. I want y'all to hear this. I'm just going to read this to you, okay? In fact, let me tell her right now. Get on live. Come on, read you what she said. I want to know what y'all would do too. Get on live. All right? But if you don't want people to know it's your business, don't call yourself out when you get on there. But I'm about to um, respond. So this is what she said. She said, good morning, MJ. Um, can you please make a video um, giving advice on how to get rid of an ex who you've told several times that you don't want to be with? But they keep calling um, calling um, on block numbers and popping up at your house. What should you do, baby? Why are you asking me um, for a common sense answer? Call the law. Sound like it's time for a restraining order, don't you? Call the law. What's it, Second Amendment? Make sure your house is protected within the legal confines of your state's laws. Don't You don't go do nothing, but make sure your house is protected. All right. Let me explain something to you, okay? Sometimes these people are here, men and women, okay? The reason why they seem to step over boundaries is because you ain't never gave them some or you don't enforce them. Enforce that boundary. I don't care how crazy somebody is with a good enough boundary. They pull themselves together real fast. All right? And let me tell you this. If they don't, there's a prison or somewhere else for them. Get in here, get in here, get in here. Write your questions in here. I'm going to answer what I want and skip what I don't want to do. Hold on, I'm not above it. Get a restraining order. And what? Okay? Y'all better stop letting these people. And we're going to get into the questions, but... I feel like I want today to talk about, I want to talk about setting boundaries and about how y'all need to make sure that y'all protect yourselves and make sure you stop letting people even get to this point in the first place. Because here's what I'm willing to guess. He did not get this point overnight. Okay? That's my guess. He probably showed you signs early on of pushing past boundaries. Let's talk about some of those signs. Calling you 24-7. You say I'm going to call you back at... At 2 o'clock in the afternoon and at 2.05, where you at? Why haven't you called me? Y'all think that shit is real cute and stuff in the beginning. Like, oh, they really like me. Nah, what they telling you is that they possessive and crazy as fuck. Hey, Diane. Okay. Y'all be thinking them wanting to, with all those WYD texts. WYD means what, are you, what, what you doing? Y'all be thinking those WYD texts is cute. Ooh, he checking on me. <laughs> he's seeing what I'm doing, how I'm doing, where I'm at. Nah, he clocking your locations, baby. What you doing? All right. You see what I'm saying? Let's not try that with me. Let me say how I handle that. You sent me a cute little WYD. I'm not answering that. My boys, my nephew sons, we have location trackers on one another's phones. So we see where each other at. Those are people who need to know where I'm at. You, why you need to know where I'm at? If you don't live in my house, you don't need to know where I'm at. Okay? What time are we meeting up? Are we meeting up at 7? Okay, well, baby, it's currently 4 o'clock. So where I'm at right now is irrelevant. I'll see you at 7. Okay? And you know what another thing I don't do? Read receipts. She said Big Deborah comes out. That part. I don't do read receipts. You don't even know when I'm reading your message. No, sir. Uh-uh. You read that early. Why? Because I, I, I may read your message and choose not to respond until later. This ain't business. So why I got to let you know when I read it? Pay attention to these signs. This applies to women too. Men, lesbians, y'all need to listen to me. Y'all be letting these women get away with highway robbery. 
Okay, y'all be getting, she be showing you she crazy as a bed bug. Okay? Oh, she just like me a lot. She just pursuing me. She just whatever. And that boosts your little insecure ass ego. Okay, but the bottom line is this. The bottom line is this. All that, I got to know where you at. If I don't, if I don't, if you tell me you're going to call a certain time and you don't call me back at that time, that shit ain't cute. That shit ain't cute. It's a warning sign. Where you at? What you doing? Or when you finally, you talk to her, she got a whole ass attitude. Where you been? The fuck? First of all, if she don't trust you or he don't trust you that much, that the idea of you not calling them back exactly when they want them to creates issues in their mind, then you dealing with a traumatized, triggered, or untrusted individual. And that shit's going to get worse. Be done with it. Mm-hmm. All right? Give me some questions. Y'all see my nails? Look at my nails. Mm hmm I had the same thing done on my toes. Mm-hmm. I'm single, about to start a YouTube channel. What if the man I meet don't like that? Can we talk about that? Because that's an issue that's come up within my dating life, to be quite honest with you. But let me say this, okay? So I'm online, obviously. I've showed lots of parts of my life over the years. And so I've had men who have, some men don't care about that, right? Fine. But then you have some men, I'm going to warn you, baby, some men ain't the brightest bulbs on earth. And so some men automatically think that, oh my God, you got this channel. So that must mean a lot of men being your DMs. You don't have to have no YouTube channel. You could just be a pretty individual people being in your DMs, right? So you may deal with that sometimes. Mm. Excuse me. Mm. <laughs> You may deal with the kind of like for me because my stuff is blog, reality kind of um, content. Men be thinking, damn, so you putting it out there, that means I'm going to be on camera? No. No, my brother. No. Mm -mm. But they assume they're going to be on camera. My brother, no. I've been on camera 15 years. A little over 15 years. And 99% of the people I've ever dated ain't never made it on this camera. You will never be on camera with me ever in a million years. Why? Because I want you on camera. Second of all, I, I just, mm -mm. would you be even entertaining to them? No, you, my life, not this. You, you may deal with some guys like that, you know, or you may deal with some guys who are like, you know, just insecure with the idea that you're visible. I'm just putting that out there, but let me give you the silver lining to this whole thing. The right man for you, the right men for you will never feel small, intimidated, or uncomfortable with what you do in the world, all right? The right man for you. If they are not the right man for you and they have an issue with it, who cares? Why hold yourself back from doing something for somebody who's most likely not going to be in your life anyway? You see what I'm saying? I'm good. Mm -mm. I'm good on that, you know? That's my whole thing. So do you, baby. Let your light shine bright. It'll attract. Your light will, be, will attract certain men. The right men. Um, for the wrong men, your light will blind them. And that's good. Keep them away from you. Okay? Um, hold on, I'm trying to go up. Um, is it unrealistic to be a feminine guy and want a relationship with a masculine guy? That's kind of how it works, generally. Now, you do have these fake masculine men who like, I'm only looking for a masculine man. I'm like, wait, well, that means you're probably feminine on the deep down inside, okay? You just want to be masculine presenting, okay? Generally, people are attracted to polarity. Masculine usually is attracted to some level of femininity. That doesn't have to mean feminine expressing on the outside, but, you know, feminine expressing in terms of nurturing, um, intuitive, you know, all that kind of stuff, you know, um... Cause I'm like, why would, why you want two? That's just, ugh. And then why, and you want two, you know, on each other. Ugh. You know what I'm saying? That was my, my, my very academic way of putting it. Um, no, baby, be you, be your full self, honey. Let me say this, okay? I just do a little zhuzh on for y'all, cause I know y'all like a little glitter. I know, I know what my girls like, okay? But no, I'm serious. In a day to day life, I'm not walking around in glitter and gold. But you know, I have my nails done, I have my feet done. You know, I tend to be a little bit more on the soft, nurturing side of the house. You know what I mean? That's just me. You know, in other parts of my life, I can be, I can be a bulldog, honey. I'm, I'm a whole bulldog. You know. But the reality is that, I mean, men love it. They eat that shit up. You know, the other day. 
I was out someplace and I, had, I just got my nails done, right? The guy comes up to me. I was somewhere. And I was like paying for something. And he was like, he's like, oh, your nails are pretty, right? Very masculine, man. I said, oh, thank you so much. I did like this. I said, thank you so much. You know what I'm saying? And then he was like, let me turn this light down. It's just too much. And I was like, I said, thank you so much. And he grabs my hand. He's like, may I? I said, of course you can. And he's looking at them. He's like, wow, they're so smooth and pretty. I was like, they are. He's like, and your hands are soft. I said, they are. I said, if you want to touch him, that's all you have to do is ask. He just laughed. Oh, Madison, they love that shit. You think he's going to do that with some big, burly-ass man? No, of course not, all right? Ladies, be as feminine as you need to be. Be masculine when you need to be. Be your full self. The right man will be attracted to it. Don't you ever shape shift or doll yourself down to attracting somebody else. You out your damn mind. Mm-mm, 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 mm-mm. I embrace the shit. I love it. Oh, I love it. I, wear my little, I was wearing my little cute shorts today. Right? A little something today with the little sides cut off of it so you can see the side of my girls and sit like that. I just had a man look at me. All right, they look over. Hello? Mm-hmm. No, I'm good. They always want to be so helpful, honey. The more feminine you are, the more helpful these men want to be. Did you need something? You walk into the store. Did you need some help? I'm good, baby. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Even the straight ones, honey. Even the straight ones, honey. They love that shit. They love that shit. You pretty and soft. Everybody, who don't like something that's pretty and soft and smells sweet? All right? Can, can I help you today? I'm good. You look very nice. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Mm-hmm. Thank you. All right? These big burly men, honey. I don't want to be burly. Uh-uh. I'm good. I'm good. Mm-mm. You said you got a question? You said you met a seven-figure man dating for three months. Last night, I was given a gift. Um, you were given a gift, and he told me he was married, but claims the marriage claims he's married to give a green... Mm -mm, girl, so you met a man who claims to have seven figures. Three months ago, he gave you a gift last night. When he gave you the gift, he claims that he's married, but it's not a real marriage. He's just doing that to get a green card. Girl, I'm hearing red flags all over this, and I don't know why you're not. Immigration and marriage don't mix, no matter what country you're from, okay? If somebody's situation ain't right and they talking about that they doing this for that purpose, I'm not judging, but I'm saying red flag. How you know he got seven figures? People with seven figures generally ain't walking around just parading it around in front of people that they just met three months ago. So I'm questioning if that's true also, all right? Third of all, he gave you a gift on the day that he gave you this news that he knew was going to be distasteful. So basically, he's trying to buy your approval, girl. You better go on somewhere else with that. You better go on somewhere else with that. Quit playing. You know what it is, and you know what it was, girl. You just asked for confirmation about what you already know. If you want to go ahead, honey, put those pockets to the test. That's what I say. Because that's not going to be your husband. Guarantee that much. Please don't fall in love with him. Please don't cut off your other options. I'm guessing you already done opened your legs because that's why he's buying you gifts. I'm guessing. But if you haven't closed them, girl, I put that thing on lockdown and put those pockets to the test. Okay? He want to be a lion manipulating ass scammer? Hmm. 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 Put those pockets to the test. You see what I'm saying? You want to see my nails? Don't they look good? I'm trying to get a good angle. The light's so bright. You can't see them that good. All right? I put those pockets to the test, girl. Quit playing with me. What am I eating? Watermelons, mango, and um, tangerines. You better get yours, baby. You better get yours. He out here trying to get his. All right? Let me tell you how you handle it when you're dealing with a man like that. Oh, simp who don't mind spinning it. I'm not encouraging gold digger. I'm not encouraging it. But some men only know how to speak in the language of money, right? They only know how to speak in the language of money. So let them spend it, okay? Tell them what you want. Don't ever ask. Tell them what you need. If he want to spend it, he will. Don't get on your back and don't get on your knees. Really ever. Okay? Ever. 
There are some simple-minded men out here who will spend 5, 10, 30 years spending it on you in hopes of getting something that they probably ain't going to never get, honey. Mm-hmm. 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 I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Mm-hmm. Do what you got to do, baby. Um. Um. For being feminine, do you believe that being visible on social media has helped you find the kind of men that you like? Uh, I generally meet most people off social media, but I mean, I can't say I haven't met people on here too. I think being visible helps you meet people, period. Feminine, masculine, male, female, doesn't matter because at the end of the day, that just creates more visibility for people to see you. And inevitably, people who like what they see will reach out. So I can't say that it has hurt me in any way. Yeah. Uh-huh. I'm just saying um, how long can you be in struggle love before throwing it in the towel, baby? I don't do struggle love. I don't do struggle nothing. Mm -mm. I'm throwing it in the towel once I realize that it's an unhealthy union that's not going to get better. Uh uh. I get. I'm be done. I'm, I'm not. I'm not that girl. I'm not here for struggle love. Mm -mm. I'm not your ride or die. I'm not your hitter. I'm not sure ride with you through anything. Because my thing is, a real man is not going to put you through hell. Why should I have to go through hell with you to prove that I, that I really love you? You're not going to put me through that in real life. Oh, excuse me. Mm -mm. She said, even in marriage? I make no distinction. Marriage is not, is not, is not an excuse to suffer. Well, we're married. We have to. Maybe based on you and, and what you believe. That ain't what I believe. Marriage is a legal construct that comes with, depending on where you are, it comes with some financial benefits, potentially tax. I don't know. It's not a get out of jail free card. Well, I'm going to deal with your struggle. I'm going to deal with your mess. First of all, I'm not going to marry you. Uh-huh. I'm not going to marry you in the first place. If, if that's the shit. Mm-mm. Uh uh, that's right, Kendra. What is struggle love? People listen to too much R and B music. Maybe I'll ride for you. I'll blah 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 for you. They selling albums. Let me tell you something about celebrities. Okay, just as human as you. Art imitates life in a lot of ways, and you can have somebody who is just as human as you. And they may be in struggle love. They write songs about it. People identify with it. But just because it's a popular song or a popular concept from popular culture does not mean that it's this advice. You see what I'm saying? doesn't mean it's something that you should be doing. Gotta be out your mind. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. That's right. We ain't struggling with him, Malik Yoga. Mm-mm. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Let me read here. How soon should a man invite you to his house? We've been dating for three months and he's never invited me because he got another bitch there. A man who wants you, baby. Let me say this. When a man wants you, you should never have to be rushing him or wondering why he's not moving fast enough. Because when a man wants you, baby, you have to pace him and slow him down. Let me say that again. When a man wants you, you have to pace him and slow him down. He's trying to plan date two and date one ain't even done. He's trying to get you to the house and you're like, well, hold on, baby. I'm not ready for that yet. He's trying to get to certain places with you. If you know what I mean, you got to pace him. You see what I'm saying? When you got to push him, prod him, poke him, wonder why you're not moving fast enough. He wants you. But something, a barrier that you can't, why he can't move faster. Probably somebody else, they his living situation ain't right. Or he got a wife. Or a man. All I'm saying is I don't care about the what. I don't care about the what, I just care about the why. No, let me say it in reverse. I don't care about the why, I care about the what. What I'm dealing with, don't add up. Why it's happening, I don't care. It ain't adding up. Mm-mm. 
I spent most of my damn 20s trying to figure out why, why men do this, why people do this, why people do that. You may figure out why, you may not figure out. The what is more important. What are you experiencing? What are you seeing? And is that what you want in your life? You already done gave him three months, baby. Please don't give him three days more. All right? If you want to handle it, here's a suggestion on what to do. Baby, just be direct. I think you are so great. But I have to tell you, I've never met a man who I've known for three months who's never invited me to their home. I was just curious about why that is. I'm going to shut up and listen. Don't do it in person either. Do it over the phone. Mm-hmm. Do it over the phone. That way he ain't got to, he don't try to touch on you and distract you. You see what I'm saying? Or do it in public. All right? That don't add up. Mm-mm. Years ago, I was getting to know a gentleman. All right? He was the same way. I found out a long time later, he was in a whole ass marriage. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. If a guy says he likes his booty rub during sex, does that mean he's that he's gay? No. That's an erogenous zone. That's an erogenous zone. We gotta get out of this mindset that anything having to do with that if one part of his body if he has nerve endings in that area that feels good, what do you think? I'm I'm not, not you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying? Like we gotta get out of this mindset of oh, because they like this. That must mean that. No. What makes somebody gay is that he want to sleep with men. And let me, let me take it another step further. You are aware that there's a very large subset of gay men who don't want nothing done to their behind. I'm just saying. There's a very large subset of gay men who want nothing done to their behind. All right? You know what I call those men? Eligible bachelors, honey. That's my kind of guy. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So I'm just saying. That don't make somebody good. I'm just being real. I'm just being real. All right? Okay? Yeah, girls. I know what I like. Mm-mm. We're not going to all that, but... Mm-hmm. You got to know what you like. Even if you're straight. Know what you like when it comes to intimacy. And communicate it. I ain't here to be... Kumbaya and kumbaya and oh, everything's okay. Not, not, not for me. Not for me. No sir. No sir. Mm mm. Maybe on a birthday or holiday we can switch it up. All right. Mm mm. Just uh mm mm. Mm -mm. There are a lot of gay men on DL too. Do your research on the folks, girl. I say do your research and trust your instincts. My logic is that. Mm hmm. Let me see here. Um, all right, you know, that's another reason I know this is such a stereotype. I am somebody who I've got a good balance of femininity and masculinity, depending on the space that I'm in. But generally speaking, I like you know my soft appearance and stuff like that. I know this is such a stereotype, so I know I know there's many people who will feel differently. Um, Oh, that's a good question. I'll go to that. But generally speaking, I think we package ourselves for what we want. Right? I'm just saying. I embrace who I am because generally speaking, I ain't got to have these conversations about what I want. The kind of men that I like, they like me. They like my packaging. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Oh my God, one of my friends just sent me a picture. He said, you better wear this look. <laughs> the kind of men I like, they like, they like, they like, they like. When I was growing up, you always had the, these, you know, the gay guys who would always try to be all oh, masculine. <laughs> Y'all already know who it is. The problem is, hold on, let me go get this door. The problem is the security guards, they, they don't have a key. So, that means I got to open the door, which that means I got to go get my damn key. Lord Jesus. And I don't even know where it's at. Hold on. I already know that's Marco. I got to go get my key. Give me one second. I don't know. Maybe I'm paranoid. I don't be giving security a key. I don't. Y'all be outside. Not inside. Whatever.
Don't judge me. I gotta go get my kid. All right. But um, who low it? We moving and shaking and moving and shaking. Hold on. Um. Yeah, but that's how I do what I do. I package myself. I'm not trying to be mad, look all massing and shit like that. I don't want that. I don't want to attract feminine men. No shade, no tea. I don't want to attract that. So I be me. I want to attract men that's attracted to me. Mr. Marco. I knew it was your ass. I'm on live. You see what I'm saying? Oh, Lord. Hold on, let me put this one here. Oh, shit. How was boxing? Good. Yeah, you want to say hi to the people? This is my nephew's son, Marco. He just came back from boxing. You on Instagram? Yeah, Instagram. So, Instagram? Beating the dog shit out of people. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. You got, uh, we got the stuff to do. Well, you got peoples. The, the lead. The Leeds platform. You gonna let them on in? Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh huh. Gotcha. Uh -huh. Thank you. Oh my God. Mm hmm. You tired? You gonna sleep good tonight? I'm gonna sleep good. Yeah. He had a full day, a very full day today. Oh my God. Um, let me see. I'm just reading on here. They said we look alike, honey. I know. I know. Let me see here. Um, um, I've been talking to a guy for seven months and he recently started becoming distant. I'm really into him and don't want to lose him. How can I gain his attention and affection back? Should I even try? What's the song? What's that song? I don't want to lose your love. I don't know the lyrics. Oh, what's a good one to sing right now? I, feel, I have a song in my heart, but I just can't figure out which one it is. Um... Don't leave me this way. I can't survive being alone. What is the song? Oh, baby, don't leave me this way. I can't resist. I'm making up the words. Your tender kiss, dimmed in love. Don't leave me this way. My heart is full of love and desire for you. So come on now and do what you got to do. Teddy Pendergrass, girls. Okay? Anywho, uh, Gloria Gaynor did it too. Girl, seven months and he's becoming distant. Let me tell you a couple things that could be happening. Some men cannot handle commitment, okay? And so what happens is, in the words of Brene Brown, they hit a, a vulnerability hangover, which means they've been so vulnerable with you and so close to you. And now that it's time to ascend to the next level of your evolution together of connectedness, they run. Some people, in the face of connectedness and togetherness, they run from it and you should pay attention to it, all right? Just because you hit the seven-month mark or the one-year mark or the two-year mark, it doesn't mean that this person's going to be there forever. Longer times with someone does not mean longevity. What it means is that you're now hitting a new stage and you're re-getting to know each other based on you're learning how is this person at a level of engagement once we're this close. See, what you were experiencing the first seven months was a honeymoon period. Now you're getting really close. Now you're experiencing realness, okay? And there are some people who run up front. I like those people. If you're going to run, please run within the first week or two. I would prefer that. And there are some people who love to live in fantasy land, and then they run once the connectedness comes out because they're not, it takes them several months to be triggered. I'm so sorry you're dealing with this, honey, but they're showing you who they are. I want you to believe them. Believe them. Believe them. Mm -hmm. This is what it is. This is what it is. And this is what it's going to be. All right. He said, but they could be going through something in their life and you just don't know it. But do you want to be in a relationship with somebody like that? But whenever they go through something in their life, they disappear and become distant. Then you're going to spend your whole relationship with them, chasing them down during those moments. Not without knowing. No, sir. No, ma'am. I can't deal with that. Mm -hmm. Be grateful that you've seen this as seven months rather than two years. Namaste. All right. Namaste. All right, let's see here. How soon should I... Oh, no, I read that. Was with the guy for 10 years. Three children later. Broke up last October. Now I'm keen on a girl. You like a girl. So you's a woman. 
and you say you've been with a man for 10 years. Y'all got three kids. Y'all broke up in October, last October. Now you like a girl. Now you like a, a female. Are you gay or bi? Why, what, what title does the, I don't care what the title, why does the title matter? Are you attracted to, to this woman? This woman? You attracted to the woman? Okay, then you like the woman. Give your time to her. Okay, and that's just fine. All right? We get so caught up in the titles, and I think titles traumatize people. Because they be like, I like this person, but does that make me this? Be whatever title you want to be at the end of the day. You like them? When they text you, you like seeing that pop up? When you, when you in their presence, you enjoy that? When she touch you, how you feel? Mm-hmm. Then that's what it is, at least for that one. And maybe later on, you'll find another gentleman you like. Okay? So I've been saying this for a long time. Some of you gals, some of you gals need to be considering some gals. I'm serious. The lesbians seem to have very nice relationships. Don't they? They do. They seem to have very nice relationships. They, they get together. And then in, in six months, they be done live together. Six days, be done live together. Be investing in real estate together. Mm-hmm. No unexpected pregnancies. That's nice. You see what I'm saying? She going to know what to do for your body. You've been with this man 10 years. How many times is he taking you the way you need to go, if you know what I mean? Tina going to take you there every night. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I say it to the gentlemen, too. If you like your gals, you like your gals. That's fine. But some of these gentlemen don't really like gals. Mm -mm. You want to know why? Because the fact is, the only thing you like about the gals is what's between their legs. Well, well, Dayquell, that's the gay name I'm going to make up today. Dayquell, he got something between his, too. All right? And from what I hear, you know. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? And Dayquell know what to do with you. He know what to do. Dayquell know what to do. Cook better than your mama, don't you? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Everything, these men, are, everything about women get on their nerves. Oh, women get on my nerves. This women, this women, this women, that. Talking about bro love. You enjoy your bros so much. Hmm. Hmm. I'm just saying. The only thing missing from that bro love is a little bro intimacy. I'm just saying. Because to like a woman, to like a woman means to like a woman. Not just what's between her legs. It's to like the femininity. It's to enjoy the way she thinks. Not to be mystified and horrified by it. I think there's a whole lot of people who may want to. Because some of y'all, same thing with the women's. Some of y'all women's. Y'all, the only thing you like about a man is the fact that you were told you should like a man. Yeah, he's attractive to you. You know, but that's the thing. Attraction is fluid. You can look at somebody and tell there's attractive. There's attractive in this. There. You can even like somebody enough to want to, you know, be intimate with them. But do you want to be with them? See, here's the thing. Being attracted to somebody enough to enough. Hey, Adrian, being attracted to somebody enough to want to be with them, right, sexually, does not mean that that's who you need to be with in terms of emotional intimacy and everything else like that. Let me tell you this. These parts, these, these you know, parts, right, those things can get revved up for anything that breathes on them the right way. You see what I'm saying? You see where I'm going, right? I'm just saying, some of y'all ain't ready to hear it. Some of y'all ain't ready to hear it, okay? But the match who may be out there for you, right? That's right, there needs to be a divine connection. And divine connection can shift. You know what I'm saying? There may be one gender. I'm telling you, these girls, you may, be, you may have a divine connection with a man at one point in time, and that could be what it is. And then 10 years later, you meet a woman, and it's a divine connection there. Run from it if you want to. But I'm just saying that, don't, that, that doesn't de 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 deny the fact that the connection is the same with men. I've been with women my whole life. Okay, cool. But then little Day, you know, Day Quayle or whoever, I don't know, is making up a name. He come around and you're like, hold on, who is this little thing right here? He smells so good. Damn, I like him. I like, no, no, I can't like him. I can't like him. That don't even make sense. But I like when he around. No, 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 that ain't it. That's going to be my new bro. You really think about bros the way you be thinking about him? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Take it, take it from a day quail. Okay? Listen. Listen. There's bro love and there's something else. Anyway, I'm just leaving it alone. I'm just leaving it alone. I'm just leaving it alone because some of y'all getting uncomfortable. Some of y'all getting uncomfortable by the reality that I'm spitting. Okay? All right? I'm calling the thing a thing. That's right, Justin. 
Let me see here. I'm looking at my next question. Oh, honey. I'm hot as hell. Oh, Lord. I need to cut the air conditioner on. Let me see here. Um, um, is Marco okay? Yeah, he all right. He just came from boxing, beating the hell out of people. He tired. Um, how do you tell your teenage daughter? How do you tell your teenage daughter who just graduated from high school, has a good job and wants to buy her first car, but doesn't want to listen that she should start low than aim high because she doesn't want to make any... Okay. So basically, your daughter wants to buy her first car. She wants to spend money. What are you supposed to do? Because you want her to go for a cheaper car. She wants to buy something more expensive. Tell her your advice and then let her do what she wants to do. Maybe she need to live with that, with that 72-month car note that's going to have 11% interest rate on it. And she need to have that experience so she can learn what to do with her money. My mother let me do that, honey. Yes, she did. Marco, yeah. can you do me a favor, please? What's that? Would you mind just coming down here and cutting that air conditioner on for me, please? You know, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? As long, that's right, Miss Hamilton. As long as it's safe and it drives. Come say hi to Miss Hamilton. She on here. Miss Hamilton. Oh, Miss Hamilton. Yeah. She's on there? She's not on. She said hi on here. Oh, hey, Miss Hamilton. Uh huh. You know, Mark, I love him, so Miss Hamilton. Mm hmm. Yes. Oh, Thank you. Let me see here. Um, what's the deal with a man who lives in a dirty house? Mm hmm. I expect a lot of men not to be as clean as me. I don't know. Um, I believe in providing employment to housekeepers. I do, so I don't, I don't care. As long as he's willing to help with the bill on the housekeeper, if we live together. And when I come over, just make sure that bathroom's clean enough for me. You know what I'm saying? You go in a man house, got toothpaste on the faucet, on the sink and everything like that. It is what it is. It is what it is. That's why I won't share no bathroom with no man. Mm -mm. I need my own. I need my own. I need my own bathroom. Mm -mm. Cause I don't want. I don't want nothing. Oh, then now I'm messy too sometimes. But I have like across my thing would be five different facial moisturizers and two different toothpastes. So I feel different each day. And in this, a uh, a brush, a this, a that, tweezers, a blah, blah blah blah. It's all kinds of stuff. You know, like I have like a like one of those big you know, jacuzzi tub things. I never get in the tub. I always take showers. So I have one of those in the bathroom and it's a step to get in. So I, that step is just extra shelving for me. I have everything going on in there. Perfume bottles and everything all around me. So with that said, I'm sure he doesn't want to do that. Or when he comes to the bathroom and it smells literally like jasmine and, and citrus perfumes and stuff like that. He may not want to be in the bathroom getting ready to smell like he's at the, you know, Nordstrom's fragrance counter. You know, so I get it. That's what it is, right? Show us my bathroom. No, I'm not doing that at the moment. Okay, you want to see my bathroom? Let me see here. Exactly. In my bathroom, anything that's flat is extra shelving. You could literally put shelves on every, in every part of the bathroom, and I will find a way to fill them up. So out of fairness to him, I should not share a bathroom with a man because I'm going to take all of his space and my own. All right? Let me see here. How many dates until you kiss him? Oh, baby, life's too short to, to wait on that. Honey, no. Mm -mm. I'm trying to think. What is the fastest I've done anything on a date? We're not going there. Um, I don't care about a kiss on the first date. I just don't do nothing else on the first date. Unless I see no future with you. Mm -mm. Oh, my God. This one guy gave me a foot rub on the first date. That's actually happened twice on the first date. You know, I believe in having pretty toes. That's just me. I've always been that way. And so anyway, I come in and I sit down. And as I walk up, he, you know, he gives it a little look up and down and everything like that. And I was sitting there at the table. He reached and we sitting there talking, blah, blah. And we had our chemistry and everything like that. We were about a half hour into dinner or whatever. And he reaches down under the table and like he kind of grabs my leg. And I'm thinking, he kind of grabbed my, grabbed my leg. Right? I was like, oh. Oh. Right? And then next thing I know... He goes and he pulls my leg up. He's like, he's like, he's like, let me see your foot. I said, you see my foot? Girl, I already knew what it was. Seven out of ten men love pretty toes. They won't admit it. I ain't got no foot fetish. I just appreciate the pretty feet. Mm-hmm. You put this toe in your mouth. Mm-hmm. I ain't gotta ask you to. You gonna put this toe in your mouth. Okay, at some point in time, you gonna hire this foot in your mouth. Okay? Quit playing with me. Don't believe me, girls. If he ain't sucking your toes, it's cause you got fucked up ass feet. 
I'm just telling you, okay? It is what it is. So when he did that, I'm like, for real? I was like, oh my God. <laughs> don't be be lying. I don't even have a pedicure. <laughs> Lying girl, you just got that shit this morning. You knew you was going on a date. I don't even have a pedicure. Okay, he go and grab that thing. He look at it. Girl, let him stay. Let him stay, honey. Heart get the pound and boom, 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 boom. boom, 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 boom. How did he? Yeah, honey, I got a foot rub for the next twenty minutes. Okay, honey, you quit playing. I don't believe in holding back. Now, certain things we're not doing that on the first date. But no, I believe the touch. I believe the intimacy. I believe that all of that, all of that, all of that. I believe in all of it. Mm-hmm. Yes, I do. You know what I love on a first date? On any date? You know when you sit in a booth and he come and sit on your side of the booth? Like, he ain't going to sit. He ain't, I ain't think I'm going to sit right beside you. I love when a man does that. Don't you? You know what I mean? He comes like, no, I'm going to sit over here with you. For real? Yeah, I'm like, okay. He sit right there with you. His arm around you to hold. Mm, I love that. I love that, honey. I love that stuff. Don't you? Mm -hmm. I'm so touchy. What's your, um, what's your love language? Comment in here. So what are the love languages, right? The love language is how you experience and how you give love. So what we have words of affirmation. I got to show off my nails. You know when you get a new set, you got to show them off. Words of affirmation, quality of time, physical touch, acts of service, like you do things for people. I cook for you or whatever. And what's the other one? What's the other one? Words of affirmation, quality of time, physical touch, and I'm leaving off one. What's the fifth one? Give me the fifth one. I'll tell you what mine's are already. Words of affirmation. Words of affirmation, physical touch. Words of affirmation and physical touch. I gotta touch. You gotta touch me. You gotta touch me. You gotta touch me. You gotta touch me. All right. You gotta touch me. The access. No quality time. What's that? gifts? Gifts. 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 I'm not a big gifts person. I do. I appreciate them. Sure. You know. But that's not my big thing. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Hey, Danny. Oh my goodness. What is Danny's book? They put your book away, Danny. But I just got your book. It took forever for them to get it over because it went, it went to one, it shipped, it shipped to one office, then it got moved to the next office, and then they shipped it from that office to Indonesia. So it took a little while to get here. Um, it's around here somewhere. Um, let me see here. What's your love language? Gifts. Y'all love some gifts. Mm-hmm. She said, you got to give me things and do things for me. I love it. All right, y'all, I got to go in just a minute. Um... um why do men change after you sleep with them, even if you had a great night? Because that's how they're built. They're hunters. And that's why I keep telling you girls, keep your legs close to men. DJ, I'm on live. That's why I tell you girls, keep your legs close to men. Mm -hmm. Keep your legs close to him until you've been with him long enough to see that he's not changing up and he's already committed to you. Mm-hmm. I've been telling you all this for a while, but you refuse to listen. You be shoot, you not be listen. You don't be listening. Mm mm. I don't care how nuanced and how wonderful he is, girls. Keep your legs closed. Don't get on your knees. Don't get on your back. None of that. None of that. None of that playing stuff. You know, we just were playing around. No, no sir. No sir. No sir. He should know how it looks, smells, or feels. Until there's, hey Trinice, until there's a, a commitment right there. You said, mm -mm, no so. Uh-uh. I don't. I used to. I used to. <laughs> and I learned. Don't do that. Mm-mm, I don't do that. I don't do that. Mm-mm, I'm not doing that. Mm-mm. Now, can you hug me? Yeah, you can hug me if you want to. I'm going to hug you too. I get the best hugs. Oh, I do. I do. Oh, yes. Hug me close. Hug me tight. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Uh -huh. You want to you wanna walk and you want to, you know, rub your hand up on my back. And... Cool. Cool. I'm very affectionate. I love affection. But let me tell you where it stops at. You see what I'm saying? And I'm not trying to, it's not you using this as a superpower. No. I'm protecting my energy and protecting my heart because what I won't do is give you this. You changed up on me and now my feelings is hurt. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Why would you give away your most valuable, one of the most valuable pieces of your being, of your temple, 
Why would you give that away from somebody to somebody who hasn't proven that they value your temple enough to commit to your temple? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that's fine. That's why you don't need me to let him spend the night. Girl, if he spend the night, you can. I'm just telling you that right now. No, we can just lay together. It's going to be fine. You can. Okay. Because the kind of girl I am, even in my sleep, even in my sleep, I be laying in sleep like this. And I don't even be knowing it. I don't even be knowing. I be in my sleep and I'm throwing it back. I don't even know. I'm moving back. I don't know how not to. I be asleep. I think that, I think my cooter has like a sensor on it. Where it was like, it's like, it's there. I'm like. You see what I'm saying? And that's not fair to him. Okay. Because then he's going to wake up in the middle of the night. Like, uh -uh. I'm like, uh-uh. Uh-uh. Poor thing. Poor thing. Poor thing. I don't want to torture a man like that. Y'all tell me to stop. You know you do the same thing. Y'all got three kids off of that. Okay? Mm-hmm. Girls. Girls. I'm so happy that I'm a man. I'm so happy that, that, that I'm a gay man. Let me say that, honey. Do you have any damn kids I'd have by now? Oh, my God. I have an army. Nick Cannon wouldn't have anything on me. I'm serious. You know what I mean? I just know me. Mm -mm. No, sir. My 20s. Oh, honey, it was fabulous. I had a great time in my 20s. Oh, my goodness. I'll tell you in the book. It was fabulous. I regret nothing, honey. That's why I say, I don't want a man who has no experience. And I say, if a man gets me, right, Kendra said, I can't have company, girl. You see what I'm saying? I don't want, no, if you, if you want somebody who can wear white down the aisle, honey, I'm not her. Okay? My dress is going to be red. All right? Red. Okay, let me tell you, because, honey, I got miles on me, honey. That's why it's so good. It's seasoned and aged, all right? It's seasoned and aged. You see what I'm saying? This ain't no brand new stuff, okay? This stuff knows what it's doing, okay? Honey, you ain't got to come and teach me nothing, okay? I'm teaching you, okay? That's why, you know what I like? Somebody who's just, you know what's the best union? Pardon me, cover your kids' ears. When two hoes get together, two hoes get together. I don't care what your orientation is. Two hoes when they get together. Two people with some miles on them, honey. Y'all be in competition with each other. I'm going to rock you. I'm going to rock your world. And y'all just be just going at it like, ha, ha, ha. You know what I'm saying? This is like crazy. It's like, woo. It's just, it's just something else. You know what I'm saying? I love that. I love that. Some, some girls are like, we don't talk to him. You know, he, I heard he used to get around. Honey, that was community meat back in the day. I'm like, for real? <laughs> for real? How he nowadays? Now he cool now, but you know, back in the day, that's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why you got to play into it with the girls who be talking shit about him. Like, oh, yeah, I, I'm sure he is. I don't even want him, girl, pushing them away from him. I don't even want him like that. Meanwhile, me coming over there. How you doing? I'm good. You know I got a reputation. <laughs> you ain't heard about mine then, huh? Mm-hmm. What you talking about? <laughs> hold up. Hold up. You still got to earn it. You gotta earn it, honey. All right? I want a hoe. I sure do. I sure do. Mm -hmm. I'm a reformed one. I'm a reformed one. But I still got, I still, where's my card at? All right? Where's my card? It's my wallet, honey. All right? They send me a special phone case once a year. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yes, they do. Uh-huh. I got a whole card and stuff like that. Uh-huh. I got a, they sent me a little card. A little card. Uh-huh. Ho Emeritus. Emeritus Ho. I don't know what they call it. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Y'all know I'm the um the, the president. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Of the good she society. Mm-hmm. Look it up. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Founding member. Yeah, say it like that. Founding member. Mm-hmm. 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 That's what I'm saying. He said, gay uncle, can you give me boy advice? Baby, you got to ask a specific question. I got plenty of advice for you. Uh-huh. That's what I'm saying. Uh-huh. Y'all be playing. Y'all be playing. Uh-huh. Uh-uh. Yeah, exactly. Don't get us church girls confused. No, sir. I've been to church, but I would not call me a church girl. Uh-huh. Put the church to shame with the things I do to a man. That's crazy. Let me shut up, y'all. It's too early for this. All right? That's the problem. Got all these girls on here trying to egg me on. That's the problem. Mm-hmm. I'm only this way because of y'all. Is, uh, is it possible for a girl to say they only like one girl and and don't regardless? I don't know what you just asked me, baby. Um. Let me see here. 
Can we go live? No, baby. No, baby. I'm sorry. Um, how long can you be? No, I already read that one. Y'all ain't got no new good questions. So I got to go. All right. Um, how do you get your man? Oh, how do you get your man to open up more to you, share his feelings and thoughts with you? First of all, he needs to be capable of doing that. Not every man is at a point of emotional maturity or women for that matter, this point of emotional maturity to be able to open up. So first of all, you can't get blood from a stone. All right. If he shows a willingness or a propensity to learn and grow in that area, perhaps through therapy, then I think you've got something to work with. But if it is what it is and he's not willing to work on it, baby, then the best work you can do on yourself is on yourself so that you can eventually move on to a man who's ready to be the kind of person for you that you desire and deserve. It is what it is. It is what it is. Hold on, let me check this thing. Hold on. Um... I'm going to be texting. Um, let me see here. You said I'm wonderful? Thank you, my love. You said my tan is like, you can see my tan line right here, kind of, can't you? Um, let me see here. Hold on. Would you move forward with someone that lied about their age? He said he's 51, but is 55. Not a big difference. Hold on. How old are you? I'm 39. Girl, I don't, I mean, I don't really care about people lying about they, I, actually, I do care about what people, um, what is this? Um, oh, shoot, he said, oh, my bad, I missed it. Okay. Do I, I mean, I don't like people lying about anything, period. Do I expect that when you're over a certain age, you may trim a couple years off? When did, when did he lie about his age? When he first met you? Or like y'all been knowing each other for four months and he's still lying about it? Does he lie about anything? I don't know. I just, I won't lie about my age. I'm very proud of my age, okay? I love my age. I'm 37. You know, half the time I actually go up a year by accident. Because I'm always like, well, I'm about to be 38 anyway. But no, um, it doesn't bother me. I mean, I, it would bother me, but I mean, mm, I need more context. Right? How do you know it's love? Eh, you know. But let me tell you something that's more important. Stop making love the biggest deal ever. You can love somebody who's not good for you. Love is a chemical response within your body to a stimuli. Stimuli being that person, intimacy, what that person represents to you. Oh, wow. You don't always love that person. I love that you're in my life. I love that I don't have to be alone anymore. I love what it feels like to be with you intimately. That don't mean you love them. And you can love somebody who's not good for you. Get off of love. People be so worried about love, 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 love. I love you, so that must mean I should sacrifice everything. I love you, so that must mean that I should do this. I love you. You can love anybody. You can love anything if you spend enough time around them. Love is not a love. Love is a nice feeling. Not that you think it's necessary if you want to give your life to somebody, but love really is not that big a deal. Do you trust them? Do you have enough time with them to understand if their character aligns with your character? Do they fit into your life? Do they uplift you? Do they bring your world together or their reason why your world falls apart? Can you be with them without having to compromise the other relationships in your life? I'm always cautious of that. Where in order to be with somebody, that means I can't have no other relationships because, you're, because my relationship with you or you are so problematic in my life that it repels other aspects of my life. Fuck love. Who give a good goddamn about love? All right? Is it healthy for you? You can love anything. All right? I, let, me, let me get a cute little puppy and put it in your house long enough. You feed it every day, you're going to love it. Let me get, let me get a, a child. Put it around you every day. You feed it. You clothe them. It, the child. Um, you, you spend time with them. You're going to love that child. Love is important, but love is a response to, to, to stimuli that does not always mean that that's a healthy component in your life. You see what I'm saying? Love is important. So I, 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 I hear you in terms of your question about love. I hear you. I hear you. I receive you. But let me tell you this, you're asking the wrong question. The right questions to be asking is, is this person healthy for me? Do I, am I my best self with them? Are they their best self with me? Is this person triggering to me in a way that's unhealthy? Do I trust this person's character? Do I know them long enough to know their character? Hmm. I know them, they're such a nice person. You ain't fucking knowing them. You don't know, if it's not a year, four seasons, you really don't know them. You really don't know them. You really don't know them. You need to go through at least four seasons with them. And even then, you might not still know a whole lot about them. But you'll know enough to at least be able to base some decisions on. You see what I'm saying? I love them, girl, bye. You love the way he feels. You love the way he smells. You love the way he makes you feel. 
You love the self esteem boost that he gives you. Because, Sonny, let's be real. Don't we love the way somebody makes us feel? I love the way you make me feel. I love what you represent in my life because when I'm with you, I don't have to feel like I'm going to be alone anymore. When I'm with you, I feel desirable. And when I'm not with you, I don't feel desirable. Honey, on a subconscious level, sometimes we can use people. We call it love, but what we're really doing is placing them in our lives and maintaining them in our lives in order to, to keep getting the emotional response that they trigger within us that makes us feel good. That gives us feelings that, that if we did the work on ourselves, we could have for ourselves without them being there. Because we don't want to do that work on ourselves, what we do is we use them as a temporary drug to give us those highs. That's why you go crazy when they're not calling you. Where he at? I don't, I, I, when he don't call me this, when she don't call me that, blah, 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 blah. Like a crackhead who ain't got their head, huh? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, you self-medicating with a man. Mm-hmm. You doping up on some, if you know what I mean, okay? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. That's what you're doing. That's what you're doing. Talking about you love them. No, you don't, baby. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. You ain't worked through your trauma. That's why you think you need them. Oh, bless your heart. Oh, oh. Maybe when they break your heart or when you break your own heart because you jumped in too fast and ignored all the signs that you all were not in alignment and then you, you eventually break up or they break your heart when they finally show you who they are. Maybe when that moment happens because it will. It will. Maybe when that moment happens and that will inspire you to do the work on yourself because some of you girls have to get to absolute fucking rock bottom to actually do some work on yourself. So maybe you need to go through this. Maybe you need to waste your good years while your titties are still high. Mm-hmm. To get the lesson. Mm-hmm. You know, sometimes auntie got to do that for you. Sometimes auntie got to get you together, honey. Okay? Sometimes auntie has to do that. Sometimes auntie has to say, oh, you poor little thing. Your little self. Look at you. Look at you. Look at you. Mm, oh, ditzy bitch. I love you, girl. I love you. I love you. But you know you're doing stupid shit. Mm-hmm. And the men do it, too. The men do it, too. Uh-huh. I'm Boys, you haven't gotten out of this. You know you're not getting out of this. Y'all do the same thing. I love her. Mm, why? Because she makes you like you like the way she makes you feel. Mm, yeah, because she feels that void in your life that your mother, your grandmother, your father, whoever didn't feel for you. Mm, yeah, makes you feel desirable because for a lot of your life you didn't feel desirable. Mm, yeah, huh, how is that? Or maybe let's talk about it. You have unresolved sexual trauma. Just saying. And 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 with her, you all bond around intimacy and sensuality because you equate love and desire with someone valuing what you can do between their legs mm -hmm. so you don't really love her you like the sense of validation she gives you because she desires you sexually and you believe that that's really all you're worth because when someone tries to value in a way beyond just what's between your legs and how you make them feel sexually you don't know how to handle it and you run from it that's why you run to bed with them so quickly because you're looking in, in order to get a hit of that drug Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I know. Sucks, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did it. Yeah, I did it for a long time. Mm -hmm. Oh, honey, I was the best at it. The best at it. The best at it. Oh, expert level, honey. Honey, if it wasn't for this camera here, all right, if I wasn't here, honey, I would have probably been out there. I've been out these streets, honey. I've been out these streets, honey. I've been out these streets, honey. I would, honey, you wouldn't have paid me on Cash App, honey. I would have. You would have had to take care of me in other ways, honey. I would have been a high class girl. You know what I'm saying? I was that good at it. Still am. But you know why I was that good at it? Yeah, because the validation that I was getting through it mm -hmm, was like a little band-aid. It was like a drug, I would say. And it was giving me validation because of the unresolved trauma I had in me that made me value myself through that lens. I felt like I was nothing. I felt like I was unworthy in every other part of my life. But in that area, I was always desirable. I was always this. I was always getting compliments. Always, honey. I was rocking worlds, honey, okay? When he was chasing me down, what you doing? Where you at? Showing up at my door. Sprung, honey. I viewed, I viewed a man being sprung as, ooh, I've accomplished something. I've accomplished something. Uh-huh. In fact, that was mission, get him sprung. Okay? I knew exactly what to do with it and how to, and how to knew what to do. Honey, I knew. Okay? I knew what to do. Why? Because I was weaponizing my stuff. I was weaponizing my stuff. My stuff was a weapon, honey. Mm-hmm. I was going to break down all your defenses, break down your walls, break down your everything. So you become so dependent on me and attached to me and addicted to me. Why? Because I didn't value myself in any other area. 
So what I did was I perfected that area. Uh huh. I perfected that area because I equated you desiring that as you desiring me. I equated you loving all of this as you loving me. And because I didn't value myself or love myself enough in other parts of my life, right? I didn't know how to bring those things forward or cultivate those other parts of my life to show you those other things. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So what I did was I put out in front of you the thing that I thought was most valuable. Mm-hmm. And then when you sitting there out of breath, honey, all kind of hormones and it gone through your body and you just, I love you. I lean in and said, I know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh-huh. Of course you love me. No, you don't. But see, I thought you did. Does it make sense what I'm saying? Before we go into the weekend and you do something else you're going to regret? Uh-huh. Can Auntie talk to you for a minute? All right? Uh-huh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I got to go, girlies. I got to go. Mother has to go. I've got things to do. I've got things to do. All right? I love you all. Have a good night. Don't make any decisions that you're going to regret 10 years from now. Goodbye.